Good day, good day. Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dan O. How the honk are ya? <laughs> well, it is time to do one of my favorite casting casting reviews. And that is the Discovery. As you see, I have my uh, display case of my uh, pride and joys going there. Yep. Um, as you see the backdrop there, uh, we're, we're going to get right into it because this might be a long video. My table is just full of stuff that we've got to get through. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I built this display case with my better half there. We cut out a map and put in each things because we couldn't take it apart but each square we cut out and glued in there and then made uh left the whole map whole but anyway so we're going to be looking at that right away but what we're going to do is uh you know like i said take care and like a um, video about the matchbox of discovery but first off big shout out to the b a m c a org uh, website, go check them out. They uh, they provide a lot of my uh, information on research and stuff. Big, great, big database about everything Matchbox. So uh, there you go. Let's get started. So what we're going to be talking about today is this little bugger right here. The Discovery. This is the first casting brought out in 2001. This is MB524. 160th scale, supposedly 60, no, 26, 26 variations, and this would be the first one. That's a nice blue silver, uh, came, uh, came out in the Stormwatch, uh, I guess series, but, uh, got a couple of these, uh, all the same cards, nothing wild and crazy about that. But, uh, yeah, got a couple loose. We'll take a look at those loose. Uh, something that BAMCA did not uh, list was this TED pack that it came in. I, I've got uh, Mega Heroes. And as you see there, we've got a Discovery in there. So, pretty neat there, huh? Pretty neat there. Take a look at all the cars there. Sorry for the glare. But uh, that's our first 10 pack. No, no real variations. Just a nice clean car. They used those popular uh, saw blade wheels. So that was 2001. 2002, the Discovery um, was used in the Matchbox series um, across America. The 50th birthday series. Uh, for Matchbox, and they celebrated by uh, denouncing or putting a car to each uh, state. Uh, Land Rover was given two states. As uh, I'm going to put a link up here for the Discovery or for the Freelander uh, link to that video. They did Rhode Island, and the um, D Discovery got Vermont. So there you go forest rescue on the door and then it's got the matchbox 50th on the rear quarter panel there nice big long card so that was uh one of them then it also came out in a um two pack a two pack and collector's guide from matchbox little uh, uh this one i got from kmart it looks like but uh little collector's guide and they all came with little license plates in them uh, just a little plastic little license plate and uh, we'll take a closer look at uh, these models uh, once we get going but this one came with uh, what is that 57 Chevy convertible oh it says on there 55 Chile Chevy Bel Air excuse me all right but uh, pretty neat there pretty neat there so that was kind of exclusive. So that was still in, uh, that was 2002. The next uh, time it showed up was in 2002 in this five pack, World Zoo five pack. And it was Arctic Base was the name of that one. Nice white with a blue base on it. Very pretty. 
560, 465 at uh, the old uh, K mark there. And uh, yeah, so five packs. So that came out in 2002 as well. All right, moving right along because we got a lot to look at. 2002, also, they came out with this little bugger. Now, this is kind of special because this is the only one I've got. They call this a forest silhouette. It's a nice, beautiful metallic green. Um, as far as I know, it came in a blister pack as well as this, but I this is the only one that I have. And I would be interested in more because I, I need one for my display case. <laughs> and... Uh, so yeah, I'd like to get I just, I like to display them, you know, left and right. But if you haven't seen one of these boxes, pretty neat. I, I still don't know if they call them power grabs or what they call them at this point in the time. But uh, there you go. So uh, there was two variations of this. The other variation had um, let's get it up here. Uh, the um, Matchbox, what was it called? Logo. Was that this one? Yeah, this one had a 50th anniversary logo on the hood. So there's this plain Jane one with no tampo on the hood. And then there's uh, one with. Or did I say that backwards? All right, but anyway, so that's a pretty nice one. I put that over special here because uh, that's the only one I've got of that one. All right, moving right along, 2003. We get into the Hero City when uh, Matchbox was big into the Hero City series. And uh, Bighorn, Bighorn Forest was uh, one. That, that's kind of a crummy looking one because uh, the card kind of got yellowed. I could probably bust that out of the... Uh... But yeah, this is a basic line. Um, so the other thing that was kind of cool with this one, well... So here's the, the card, single card, uh, nothing very special on the back. Uh, it did come in a 10 case as well, or a 10 pack, 10 set. And there it is right in the middle. No real variations uh, for this one. Um, other than, you know, you can see on the rear quarter panel there, it says Matchbox, but they all have that. You can't really see it. Because these buggers, you know, you can't see the other side. But anyway, so it did come in a 10 pack. So the only variation, and I'm gonna probably, oh, we're gonna reach over here and open up our case so we can, now that I got some stuff out of the way. The only other uh, variation is this one here. And uh, this is the only one that I have of that, is it's got the um, Matchbox Hero City on the rear rear fender there or rear uh yeah the rear fender the rear quarter panel fender so that that's kind of the uh only variations there the uh the two year the uh, what was it 2003 they came out and uh really other than that that was it all right so moving right along <laughs> The next year we have the Sphinx of Gaia, Giza, Giza, I think it's Giza, I'm not sure, but uh, Around the World was a series that uh, Matchbox did, and uh, we also, I, I don't think I could put another link up there, YouTube won't let me, but uh, the Freelander was part of the Around the World series, and the Discovery, so it had a collector stamp. Had a little camera, you turn it around, you can, hey, see a photo, look here, you know, and you can look in there and everything. And uh, no real variations or anything like that. I do happen to have one of those loose. And uh, just kind of same kind of graphics on the one side there is the other. Nice blue windshield with a nice green dot, but a nice emerald green, metallic green on it. Very, very cool. So, uh, yeah, those are kind of hard to come by. Uh, one, because I think they were only in this packaging. They never really came on the, uh, they, oh, they never came on the uh, regular uh, base line cards. They only came in that. So, a little bit hard to come by, but uh, 
but not too bad, but kind of kind of cool. A lot of adventure, a lot of adventure with this. All right, the next year, 2005, is when we came out with the Super Fast. Now these were limited to 15,500, and this is the first year that they came out, and it was red, and uh, with the little collector box on the bottom, and uh, yeah, very kind of neat. Now uh, I've got one of these loose. The other one that same year was uh, they call it pea green. <laughs> And uh, I don't have that one. That one calls for a premium price. I'm not really sure why, um, but it it calls the, the green one calls for premium price. I actually have quite a few of these. I think like, uh, two, three loose ones. I know I have another one in the package as well, but I have none of the green ones. And uh, every time they do show up, they go for big money. There's a couple of them. Uh, and we'll talk more about them, but full details Look at those lights up the sides of the back end. They're very very nice. I really like that Yeah, if you ever had a discovery and I had a discovery this year uh, 95 96 very nice very nice detailed the wheels are kind of Yeah, they're super fast. They're they're special whatever wheels but uh yeah they could have been real riders and then that really set it off but it's nice they got the black blacked out trim around the windows very very nice so yeah 2005 i'm looking for a pea green one <laughs> even if it's loose it's something because i i i have nothing all right so next comes uh a very interesting one and uh this one is in the uh, Treasure Inside Win a Pirate uh, Adventure. And this one was called what? I don't know, Adventure, I guess. And um, there's quite a bit of variation. There's, they're all basically come out in 2005. And you can already see that there is a colored variation uh, between this. Now, there's, they're all emerald green. And they all have an olive color, but some of them are brown. Like this one's more of a brown color, and this one's more of an orange color. And so you can really, really see the difference. Um, not really sure if one is more uh, valuable than the other, but uh, but yeah, or which one's harder to get. But as you see there, that's not the packaging. It is actually um, the color of it. The, the ones I have loose are more orange and not the, the brown one. But uh, sorry, I'm bumping the camera there. But uh, there you go. So that's, that's a variation there that uh, BMAC has listed. Very, very cool. There you go. You can really see that. But uh, there you go. No, usually there was a little sticker in there. Just a little sticker in there. But all right, where are we up to? 2006. Let's move these to the side here. 2006, we saw this little bugger. The uh, MBX, and it doesn't even say anywhere on the box, but this is, uh, you know, ready for action. We already looked at this one. When uh, I did the uh, SBX, but there's an orange MBX Coast Guard truck in there. Uh, five pack, I just so happen to have two of those. Um, and uh, let's take a look at it loose because this one's kind of special too. Um, a lot of five packs with this, this time of the year, uh, 2000s and that, they really did a lot of five packs. But I really love this orange. Really an awesome color. It's one of my favorite colors. Nice uh, insignia and stripe on the side. Unit 524. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Just deco on the side. That was it. Then I came across this one on eBay. And I paid good money for it. And it's in rough shape. It's in pretty rough shape. Played with. But this has these... Uh, I think they call it uh, uh, 
lace wheels, but they're, it's a different, it's a variation. I think it came in a five pack and all of them had this lace wheel on it. This one's even missing the back, uh, which I could put those, those are gonna just snap right on there. But I had to get this one because it's a variation. B-A-M-C-A doesn't have, I think, this uh, variation with this wheel variation. So I'm going to have to give them another picture to see what they have to say about that. But um, mostly only came in a five-pack. And I believe the five-pack, all the trucks had those wheels on it. All right, let's move right along. So the uh, next one that we have was another year of super fast and that was super fast and that is uh look at this yeah they were 1500 500 15,500 299 kv toys i think that was when they were blowing them out these are not too hard to find the blue ones i've got a couple of these i don't have um yeah i've got one loose matter of fact uh, but anyway, that uh, 2006, excuse me, 2006 is uh, when that came out. I'm going to grab my jammer here real quick. This is my, my overflow and my uh, multiples. So that's, I've got a couple of these. I think I've got another one in the box. But uh, you can get a hold of those. Um, yeah, when they do come around, they, they are a little spendy again, but... They are out there. Nothing like that green one is really, really hard. But this has got a nice blue to it. Beautiful blue. I love that blue. Really, really attractive blue there. Got the same super fast wheels on them, I think. I think those are the same. No, these are solid. The other ones had uh, holes in the holes in them. I'm getting focused along here. Spend all our time trying to focus. <laughs> yeah, different wheels. I like the later ones a little bit better than the earlier ones. But uh, still, same, same beautiful detailing on the back and on the front. Just really nice truck. Just a really nice. Would have been really nice if they would have had rubber wheels on them, but they didn't. So there you go. Got to take the good with the bad. <laughs> all right, so that's that. That was uh, 2006. So 2007, there was a white one. Premium, premium price. I need that one. And then 2007 was a white one with a police deco with on the side. And you can Google those and you can see pictures of them. But to buy them, they're expensive. I don't know why. Well, the, the, the 2007, the police one, white one, was part of the best of British and so that's why you know that kind of calls for a premium price because I'm not really sure if that was part of the US market so that was only over in the UK but there you go all right we jump over to 2008 and I've got an interesting story here if I don't knock down all my lined up stories here so 2008 came out this card and it was the Outback Adventure. I really like this. This is uh, almost like a desert storm look to it. Nice tan look to it. Um, number 85 and uh, well here I, I got two of them on the card. Pretty cool. Then I've got this one and you know I can't tell you where I got it. Um, different well <laughs> different card <laughs> why because this one is garbage truck number 47 <laughs> but it's got a discovery on it <laughs> so there you go so i got this in a protector that goes on my air wall and uh so yeah kind of neat kind of neat um yeah so anyway let's take a look out real quick at uh, the close-up it's a matte tan color and uh, just has the Outback Adventure on the side. Clear windows. I like the blacked out. Those are the, the saw blade wheels, but they're blacked out. So it's really kind of nice. Changes the whole dynamics of the car, you know. Uh, really, really like that truck. So that's 2008. Also in 2008 came um, 
the National Parks <clears throat> Forest, and I don't have any of those. I thought I had one in a 10-pack. It looks like this one here, but it's not this one here. Uh, this is Fire Rescue, but it's the mint green, and it's a National Parks mint green 10-pack. <laughs> I don't even have one of those. I can't believe it. They're very hard to come by. Uh, I think one of the reasons, well, one, it comes in a 10-pack, and two, a lot of people collect that National Parks, uh, Park Forest uh, stuff, so it, it gets snapped up pretty quick. All right, so 2008, we come into a new card era phase. I got uh, three of those bugger. And um, this year, they have... Uh, Discovery 96, and it is uh, a Matt Brown Forest. Let's get focused up here. Sorry about that. Forest, uh, Forest Retreat. Beautiful color. I love those wheels. They're not the low profile ones, but uh, yeah, 2008, there was a whole series of them that went to that. Very cool. I, I really like that that matte brown. I really like the matte matte finishes. This is brown, that tan, green. Oh, I just love that stuff. It's just awesome. Just awesome. Love it a lot. And I, I just really like that casting. All right, moving right along. Uh, in uh, 2009 came one of my other favorites. Uh, this was the knockoff. This is the uh, Land Rover 4. G4 Challenge, which was kind of a knockoff from the Camel Trophy, which I just love Camel Trophy. I don't know why I don't collect more models of Camel Trophy. Well, I do know why. You know why? Because they're expensive. <laughs> and paying for those rights. So I got a couple of these, and uh, very, very cool. Uh, I've got them on my uh, display. Maybe we can... Yeah, I got two of them displayed there. I got loose... They came very readily available, these did, and uh, very nice. Like I say, I love that orange. Um, it, what it was, G-Force Challenge was uh, stateside. I think they had it open to the general public, then finally they kind of just narrowed it down to dealerships. No, you know what, I think it was only dealerships that could do it. But uh, they were testing out and, and you know, putting the... Uh, Land Rovers to the uh, test. Sorry, my big thumbs there. But uh, very cool. So that was uh, 2009. Getting towards the end. 2010, we came into um, the Wildfowl Rescue. Yeah, this one here, uh, which is um, always uh, mistaken for, and I, I've done it too, for the National Parks, National Park uh, uh, Service. Still that same mint green. And there is a small line. Matchbox does do a small line of these too, but they're not the same, uh, you know, sought after the first originals, which they, matter of fact, they still put those out. All right, 2012, they put out this bugger. And... Um, different card style now kind of kind of neat you got the actual vehicle on the card oh man i forgot to show you this i get so excited doing this i forgot to show you this here is that one we were talking about with the orange and and the green what did they call that i don't know the adventure one that came in a 10 pack too they've been sitting over here being ignored matter of fact i got two 10 packs uh, let's see if we can kind of show you here. This one here without any glare. This one here has got a little Zion. And then I've got a different one in a different order. So, uh, really kind of cool there. That one's got a GTO or whatever on the top. But that same green, orange, and olive. Yeah, these kind of are both the same. So those are two 10 packs that those, that, that, uh, particular came in. The other one, uh, 10 pack was this one here that, that, uh, forest wildfire, ah, uh, forest, uh, what is it? The wildfire 
Rescue, Wildfire Rescue. Not to be confused with the National Parks one. All right, so after I, I backtracked a little bit there. Uh, so then we came to 2012 and uh, we came up with this one and this one is the National Parks uh, different livery altogether. Uh, emerald green, a dark, dark, dark green. Uh, very nice color. Uh, that's the, uh, these were, by this time, they were really getting popular. Um, I've got uh, several, whoops. <laughs> I got several of these in the package. Uh, I've got, you know, quite a few loose, but a uh, beautiful model. By this time, they realized that they could really sell sell the living daylights out of this Discovery, and they did. Now, funny enough, these wheels are called Open Dot Dash. I, I actually saw that, but uh, really some really nice mid-cape area. I believe that this is a registered or a uh, licensed deco, and that's kind of really cool. All right, so 2016 is the last time we saw this, and I think I've covered everything. I'm looking around the room at the piles that I've got. This was the last time we saw the Discovery. Uh, did not have them. I mean, this is the series you guys all heard about. I've, I've done practically every other car in this series. Uh, all of them had the same back, same card back, and uh, I guess we've got two more to do. I did that one, I did that one, I gotta do these two. Yeah, I did those two, I did all, f what is that, four? Well, now four, and I've got those two to do. Or did I do that one? I don't know if I did the evoke. <laughs> I'll have to check, we'll put, we'll put a note on it. But anyway, put it, note to self, let's check to see if we got it. But here it is, silver. Um, it came in a single, single, uh, and then it came in the five pack. And I'm going to quick reach over here, and I've got one loose so we could take a look at it. Um, but yeah, second from the bottom in the uh, Land Rover 5-pack. So another 5-pack that it was in. And uh, here we go. Sorry, we got to cut this close because I'm running out of time. My puny little battery and so much energy or puny little memory. So there you go, folks. <laughs> we got the Discovery uncovered and talked about one of my favorites oh matter of fact talking about one of my favorites here are some of the customs i made this is my um zaymac collection i really like those emerald green wheels but uh this is what i stripped the paint off it uh kind of dulled out on me but uh, i'm trying to build a whole um every casting of land rover matchbox hot wheels in uh, zamax with these wheels uh this is one that i built clear windows tan on tan with tan wheels so that's kind of cool all right this one keeps falling apart on me <laughs> oh well let's take it apart let's take it apart and look at it so that the the back uh comes off i gotta be really quick because i might lose lose uh my uh my chip here my memory so that the spear wheel just snaps into the rear of the body so if you want to take one of those off it just snaps in there and put that down but the interior which is pretty nice interior um with that folds over snaps over really really nice got some uh easter eggs in the back there that's kind of cool huh we can focus here we're right towards the end of this show and we can't even focus we're bedazzled there you go. So there's the inside. This was a green one with the green window, two uh, rivet posts there. They don't they don't hold on. They they just in there. But that just kind of sits in there. You gotta put it in that rear like that and set it on there. And then there's the three prongs on the base that uh, hold the uh, axle in. And I like those wheels. These are some white ones. I don't know if I was going with a red, white, and blue theme there or what. And then that that's it's just a one rivet construction, two two tabs in the back, and there you go. So there you go. Let's take a look at uh, one of my faves on the way out. Thank you very much for joining me today. That's it for the Land Rover Discovery. Thank you for joining me. This is your friend Dano.
Slow traffic team, keep right. Have a great rover day.